Brian and I have been here on this beautiful beach in Albania for just over a week. After I finished my through hike in Croatia, we came straight here for some rest and recovery. So this video is going to be about how I've been resting and recovering for my 2200 kilometer through hike of Croatia. And our morning is starting off with coffee on the roof. Look at this rig beside us. <laughs> what I've mostly been doing to recover from the hike is not hiking. So I've been resting a lot, hanging out in the van, lounging in bed, going for swims, doing short walks like around this little area, but nothing big. At first it felt really hard for me to not hike every day. Like it felt hard to be still and stationary, but I knew I needed to give myself that physical break. My body just felt like it had done a lot. I mean, it had hiked over 2000 kilometers, so it had done a lot, but I could feel it. I could feel that my body needed that rest and it, it, it couldn't really handle much more hiking at that point. So Brian and I are actually headed back to Canada in a few days for a while, just over a month. So we need to actually get a few things in the van ready to go. Um, I want to make sure all of our sheets and pillowcases and towels and everything are clean when we leave so we can come back to a nice clean house. So I'm going to start off with trying to get this laundry done today. Alright, this is good for one load, so I'm going to try to do all of that now. This is the beautiful restaurant space. I'm sure I'll come back later, but I just had to come ask about the laundry, so I'm here now. Okay, both machines are being used, so I'm back at the van and I'm gonna clean up breakfast dishes. At some point during the hike in Croatia, our water system started leaking. So what we've been doing is we've been using Powerade bottles to do the dishes. They've been working really well and it's on our to-do list to figure out what's going on with the leak. So, gotta fill up the bottles every now and then. I might need to change outfits. <laughs> Look at that sweat. <laughs> Brian always reviews the video for me before I post it, so that's what he's doing now. Taking my notes, watching the video. <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> We may have chosen the hottest day yet <laughs> to film this vlog, but I love the heat, so we're good. I'm excited to hear what Brian thinks about the video. I, it's always good to have a second opinion and then I can post it. Yeah, great video. I took a few notes, minor audio adjustments and maybe one title. Great. And then I think you're good to go. Great. Yep. Okay. Here I am. Somebody's already using it. They're done in a minute, so I'll just wait here until they come and grab their laundry, I guess. Okay, two hours until that's done, so I'm going to do some editing at the restaurant because there's always such a nice breeze there. As I recover from my hike, I'm also missing my hike a lot, so I've really been enjoying catching up on editing my hiking videos. It's a wonderful way for me to still get to experience my hike while I'm figuring out what it feels like to be off trail. 
This location has also been perfect to slow down and really feel good about taking care of myself. This is Sunset Camping and Restaurant on the coast of Albania. The owners have done an incredible job of creating a quiet, safe, and serene place for people to come to relax, watch the sunset, and eat good food at the restaurant. At this point, we don't really want to leave. Time to grab my laundry and figure out how I'm gonna hang it up in the sun. Okay, hopefully they dry there. I've got to go back to the restaurant now and do a little bit more editing. Vlogging in public <laughs> places, it's awkward. Because I lost some weight when I was on my hike, I have been focusing on eating a lot during this time of recovery. So I've been, we've been cooking most of our meals in the van, but we've been coming here to the restaurant and supplementing. I've been getting extra calories here, um, soups, pastas, french fries, and of course, some nice cold beer. Okay, my video is uploaded, so I'm heading back to the van and I'm gonna see if Brian wants to do a swim. Okay, that is drying really nice. The other thing that I've had to really intentionally focus on with recovery is resting, <laughs> just lounging. So I've been spending quite a bit of time lying in bed here, resting, just letting my body recover. And it has been one of the best spots ever to lie in bed because we're right on the beach. So it feels like I'm lying on the beach, but I'm in the comfort of my bed and I'm shaded, which is important for my skin. And I can hear the waves crashing and the wind will blow in. And it's just been such a perfect spot to relax with such a nice view. We've basically had these back doors open all day, every single day that we've been here. It's been luxurious. Everyone is just so chill. We're just all just chilling here, just vibing with the chill. It's great. There's a person that comes every day and sells bananas. As I'm resting, I'm definitely missing hiking. I'm really excited to get back to hiking again. Once we're back in Canada in a few days, I wanna start hiking again because I miss it. And it's my favorite thing to do. I definitely feel like I've had enough rest at this point. I've eaten a lot of food. So I'm ready to get back into hiking. Are you ready to go for a swim? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. It's so, it's windy now, so it's gonna be cold. <laughs> we'll cool off real good. Spritz me. Okay. Full back and shoulders. This is a good Brian camp. That was a good swim. Dinner time? Dinner time. Dinner time. Dinner time. What are we going to have? We're, um, we're using up as much of our food as we can before we leave the van on Wednesday. So it Sweet. might need to be a creative dinner. Sweet potato, cauliflower, peanut curry. butter, curry. Yeah, that's going to be good. Our last onion. Wow. Look at how beautiful that is. Coconut milk.
doing a recycling run. Recycling run and gray water. So there's our gray water jug recycling. Okay. You may have noticed that we're using this little stove on top of our big stove. And that's because in Croatia, we couldn't find anywhere to fill up our propane. So Brian ended up buying this camping stove and we use these little fuel bottles and it's worked out great. Um, it'd be great if we could fill up our propane again at some point, but we haven't and we've just been using this. So I'm gonna let those simmer and I'm gonna try to catch the tail end of the sunset.